Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and it's now time to do a video of the top 20 movie deaths that pissed me off. And excuse my language, and before I start this video, this, I have a disclaimer to make. This is this video is full of spoilers. So if you guys don't want these movie deaths spoiled, then I highly suggest you 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 um find a different video to watch and and watch the movies on I'm about to talk about without spoilers. So disclaimer, there will be spoilers. So if you guys don't like spoilers, then I recommend I recommend you guys just shut the, this video off and uh, find a, a video without spoilers. So yeah, I just wanted to give that disclaimer. If you don't like spoilers, then I, su I suggest you click off this video. So anyways... I do have an, an I do have some honorable mentions first. I do have lo in my num my first honorable mention is Logan, aka the Wolverine from the movie Logan. That death was really really insulting, and also Ellen Ripley from Alien Three. Um, Hicks, Newt, and Bishop in um, Alien Three, and uh, and uh, Professor X. From Logan and uh, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. So, yeah, anyways, let's get to the top twenty. At number twenty is Master Hung from It Man Two: Legend of the Grandmaster. This death is so sad, and it was it really was unnecessary because it makes me not like the the English boxer character in It Man Two. I absolutely hate that character. See, so, yeah, I'm sorry about the spoilers, but I suggest you click off this video. So yeah, number 19, you're probably saying this, you're probably thinking this should be higher on the list, but there's other ones that I thought were more insulting. Number 19 is Apollo Creed from Rocky IV. That, this, that death, the death of Apollo Creed in Rocky IV was so insulting. You probably, guys are probably thinking, why isn't this higher on the list? And I do have an, uh, another honorable mention, which is Jenny, Jenny from Apollo, Forrest Gump, along with Bubba, his Bubba and his mo and Forrest Gump's mother and Forrest Gump. Those are also devastating. So yeah, at number eighteen is Felix Slider and from No Time to Die. This death was really, really tragic, and it, it really did not. It was not necessary at all. Definitely not necessary because he's been killed off before, and he was killed off and licensed to kill as well. So No Time to Die marks the second Bond movie where Felix Slider dies. It was. And then the fact that he was Felix Leiter was betrayed by his own protege, I believe, played by Billy Magnuson. Yeah, I was real. That was really insulting. At number seventeen is David Dunn in Glass. Even though I haven't watched this movie, I know what happens. And please don't, please don't hate me for spoiling these movies. But I, like I said. Before at the beginning of the video, you should I recommend you click off this video now because I don't want to see you that your movie's getting spoiled. But even though I haven't seen the movie Glass, I knew know what happens. And David Dunn's death, what the hell, M Night Shyamalan? I'm no offense to M Night Shyamalan, but I he I, I grew up with the character David Dunn from Unbreakable. And the, killing him off in an insulting way when he was drowned by an, by one of s the villain's character, um, Sarah Paulson's men, anonymous by an anonymous goon. It's, it's, this is a pretty sad video, but I'm pro I was gonna do a movie review to Minamata today, but I decided to do this video instead. So yeah, at number sixteen is Ray from the character Ray. From Halloween 2018. And I do have some more honorable mentions. Which are. Um, Laurie Strode from Halloween Resurrection. And. Uh, and. And. Um, and. And that's my. That's my last honorable mention. But. Um, Ray. And if you don't know what the character Ray is. From Halloween 2018. He was the husband. Of the character Karen. Who I will be mentioning in top three. Which I'll also be mentioning later. So yeah. 
I think one of the worst characters should have died instead of Ray, in my opinion. Ray's death in Halloween 2018 was so sad. It was really, really sad. And I... And yet... The character Allison lost a lot of people during the two David Gordon Green movies. I hope she doesn't lose anybody else. So yeah. So yeah, I'm, I was very upset by the character Ray's death in Halloween 2018. I've seen this movie twice. It's a great movie, but I... Controversial opinion, I might like Halloween Kills a little bit more. So yeah, Ray's death was insulting, so yeah. And these characters' deaths need no introduction whatsoever. At number 15 is Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yet another movie I haven't seen, but I've seen her death. I watched the video, the tri the video, one of the clips of her death. What the hell, Sony? Excuse my language, but I was like, her death was so sad. I felt bad for Peter Parker. It was a really sad death, no doubt. Really, really sad death. So yeah, at number 14 is, a, is Chubbs from Happy Gilmore. And this is the second time I'm mentoring, mentioning Carl Weathers in this video. And another honorable mention I have is Sally Hardesty from Sally Hardesty from the new Texas Chainsaw Master movie and Nancy T Thompson from the third Nightmare on Elm Street. So yeah, number 14 is definitely Chubbs. His death was sad too. And he was, he, it was right after he got a present from, it's from uh, Happy Gilmore. And he was, he was a fr dear friend of Happy Gilmore, and seeing him die was sad. It was really, really sad. And I do, but that in no way diminishes how awesome Happy Gilmore is. I hope there's going to be, I heard rumors that there might be, a, that um, Adam Sandler and Christopher McDonald, who starred in Happy Gilmore, are open for a sequel. I hope they make a sequel to Happy Gilmore. So yeah, at number 13 is Harry Osborn from Spider-Man 3. So yeah, his death, Harry Osborn's death in Spider-Man 3, I rewatched the movie recently. I'm going to rewatch it later this week. I watched parts of it on TV while I was at work on my break. And Harry Osborn's death, his death was sad. He was, he sacrificed his life to save Peter's. It's really, really sad. So yeah, really, really sad. And another honorable mention I have is is um the oh, the um Captain Marvel from Doctor Strange two and the Multiverse of Madness and also Captain Carter and uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. So, yeah. And another insulting death is um, the character Loomis from. Dr. Samuel Loomis from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. So yeah. And also Bracket, Tommy Doyle from Halloween Kills and Bracket. So yeah. At number 13 is definitely here. And speaking of Spider-Man, at number at number 12 is Uncle Ben. You're probably no, I guess I I know you're probably saying, why isn't he at number one? Because there's a lot of other deaths that really upset me more. See, so yeah, I'm sorry about... I'm trying not to rage about this, but I'm just talking about how I truly feel about these deaths. They're so insulting. At number... Uh, Uncle Ben, the, the line where he says to Peter, With great power comes great responsibility. That is... In, I have that engraved in my mind for year for a I'm gonna have it engraved in my mind engraved in my mind for a while one of my favorite lines from Spider-Man so yeah at number 11 it is Allison Carey Detective Allison Carey from Saw 3 this death is so insulting that it really makes me physically angry I was when I saw her death in Saw 3 it was brutal and the one thing that pissed me off that um she she finished the trap that she was she was in a trap, but due to um, Amanda rigging the trap to be unwinnable, she died. She had a brutal death. So yeah, and I hope I don't get demonetized by this video, but 
It was really, really upsetting. She finished the trap, but she died anyway. So yeah, at number 10 is Rufio. I'm going to do this quick. Number 10 is Rufio from Hook. This death really hits hard. And I have I do have to rewatch Hook, but Rufio's death was so mean-spirited. It was so mean-spirited. Very mean-spirited, as a matter of fact. At number 9 is, um, is Iceman from Top Gun Maverick. And I also forgot to mention Deuce from Top Gun. That's another honorable mention. But Iceman's death, even though um, Val Kilmer was suffering from throat cancer, it was really sad to see Iceman die in Top Gun Maverick. But Val Kilmer gave one hell of a performance in the second Top Gun movie. And it's still my number one favorite movie of the year. At number eight is Jane Foster from Thor Love and Thunder. This death really it insult was insulted me because... It was insulting that they gave her cancer. It's really sad. And another, and I have one more honorable mention, and that is Sarah Connor from Terminator 3. They killed her by leukemia. So yeah, at number seven is Aunt May from Spider-Man No Way Home. This death was so infuriating. It made me, almost made me cry because when it made me hate the character Green Goblin. And it emotionally wrecked Peter Parker. So yeah, at number six is James Bond from No Time to Die. This death was unnecessary. Why in the hell would MGM, what would the studio... I'm not blaming anybody, but I blame this... I blame the creators for killing off James Bond. James Bond did not deserve to die. He, Even though he sacrificed himself to save the people he loves, but... It didn't make his death any less tragic. It was really, really sad that I almost cried in the theater when I watched it. At number five, this is an obvious. I could not for I I was I I almost forgot this one when I was doing my list. At number five is definitely John Wick's dog and John Wick. And it it was really really sad. It seemed like the studio didn't have a heart. They killed off a freaking dog. Sorry about me raging and ranting about it, but... Number four is Thomas J. Sennett from My Girl. This death really made me cry twice when I saw this movie. I cried twice at the funeral scene for Thomas J. Sennett. It was really, really sad. Really, really sad. It was really damn sad. And why in the hell would studio, the studio kill off a kid? So yeah, and here's my top three. Number three is Karen from Halloween Kills. This death was so insulting. I This pissed me off when I saw Halloween Kills. Even though I knew this was coming because I looked it up on Wikipedia. But what the hell? Karen did not deserve to die. She got stabbed to death in one of the most brutal scenes in Halloween Kills. Very, very brutal scene. And I... I was really looking forward to her returning in Halloween Ends, but since she, her character was killed off, he, she's not going to be in the Halloween Ends. And it makes me worry that they're going to kill off Laurie Strode in Halloween Ends. I hope they don't do that. So yeah. At number two, and number two is Randy Meeks from Scream 2. I was going to put this at number one, but there's a number one that irritated me the most. So yeah, Randy Meeks needs no introduction. His character was great in the first two screen movies, but but at least Randy Meeks had a cameo via VHS tape in Scream Three. But that didn't that didn't make up for killing off Randy Meeks in the second one. So yeah, it was really really insulting. And the number one most insulting movie death that 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 pissed me off that that rivals Randy's death is none other than Dewey Riley from the movie Scream Five. This death really irritated me to no end. This death was unnecessary, even though he sacrificed himself to save the people he loves. But it was really, really sad. It made me very infuriated that they would kill him off. And he's been through hell in the entire Scream series. He's been stabbed multiple times. And, I, and like I said, I do hope this video doesn't get taken down. But I'm trying to leave the explicit parts out of this video. But he's, 
He's been injured multiple times, and there was one stab in Scream 5 that finally, that actually led to his death. So yeah, that is it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.